English Video Lesson 5 How to Design a Safe Kitchen This lesson will give you listening and vocabulary practice through a video. Topic How to Design a Safe Kitchen Look at the picture. Think about the topic. When you see the title in the picture, what comes to mind? How to design a safe kitchen. Prepare to watch the video. Previewing. What kind of accidents might occur in people's houses? What types of things might make a kitchen particularly dangerous? How can you keep the kitchen area safe for the whole family? Take a few moments to think about or discuss these questions. Feel free to pause the video and discuss as long as you'd like. Think about the topic. What vocabulary words might you expect to hear in this video? Make a list. For example, safety, precaution, dangerous, appliances. Vocabulary practice. Match the words and definitions. I'll read the words for pronunciation. Appliance. Tile. Route or root. Plug. Exit. Stove. Precaution. Fixture. Receptacle. Switch. Moisture, glare, faucet, prone, liquid. Pause the video and take some time to answer these questions. We'll come back to these vocabulary words later. When you watch the video, see if you can hear any of these words. You might want to watch the video twice, once for the main idea and once again for details. Ready for the video? Get out a piece of paper and pencil so you can take notes. Click the link below for the video. Title, How to Design a Safe Kitchen, from Howcast.com. Stop this video, then click on the link below for listening. It's in the description. After you finish watching the video below, come back to this one for comprehension questions. Go ahead and click on the link in the description below. How was the video? Take time to summarize the video in your own words. Talk to a partner and tell him or her what you learned. Pause the video to have a short discussion.
Check your understanding with comprehension questions. In a moment, there will be a comprehension quiz. Would you like to watch the video one more time? Click on the link below to watch the video again, or wait a moment for the comprehension questions. Take the quiz. Comprehension questions. Number one. What is the first step in designing a safe kitchen? Number two. Where should you store a fire extinguisher? More questions. 3. What kind of cooktop does the speaker recommend? Four. What does the speaker say about lighting? Number five. The video is mainly about Feel free to pause the video if you'd like more time for these questions. Answer key. Number one. What is the first step to designing a safe kitchen? Organize the space within your kitchen well. Two. Where should you store a fire extinguisher? near the room exit. More questions. What kind of cooktop does the speaker recommend? One with burners in a straight row. 4. What does the speaker say about lighting? It is important in areas where you prepare food. 5. The video is mainly about Preparing your kitchen to prevent accidents. Test yourself. Want to try the vocabulary quiz again? This time, I'll read the definitions. Action to ensure safety or prevent danger. Flowing substance like water, not solid or gas. Insertable end of an electrical cord. Container, something that holds or receives. Household device, such as a refrigerator or stove. Way out of a room, roadway or situation. Wetness or dampness. Kitchen device used for cooking. Square section of floor covering. Part of a machine that turns it on or off. Place where water comes out of a pipe. Make a path or direction. At risk or vulnerable. Susceptible. Shine that makes something difficult to see clearly. 
something that is attached within a house. Pause the video if you'd like more time to answer the questions. Answer key. Appliance. Household device, such as a refrigerator or stove. Exit. Way out of a room, roadway, or situation. Faucet. Place where water comes out of a pipe. Fixture. Something that is attached within a house. Glare. Shine that makes something difficult to see clearly. Liquid. Flowing substance, like water not solid or gas. Moisture. Wetness or dampness. Plug. Insertable end of an electrical cord. Precaution. Action to ensure safety or prevent danger. Prone. At risk or vulnerable. Susceptible. Receptacle. Container. Something that holds or receives. Route or route. Make a path or direction. Stove. Kitchen device used for cooking. Switch. Part of a machine that turns it on or off. Tile. Square section of floor covering. Phrases and expressions from this video. These words were also mentioned in the video. Do you know what they mean? Floor plan. Fire extinguisher. Slip resistance. Lock out. Throw rugs. Power surge. Ground or grounded. Anti-scald. Think about the meaning of these words. Phrases and expressions from this video. These words were also mentioned in the video. Here's what they mean. Floor plan. Simple drawing of a room or house that shows locations of items. Slip resistant. Meant to minimize slips or falls. Lockout. Designed to prevent kids from using. Throw rugs. Small cloth mats placed on floors. Power surge. Sudden increase in electrical power. Ground or grounded. Connected to the ground electrically. Anti-scald. Preventing birds from hot liquid. Talking time. Discuss talking points. Why is safety at home important? What can you do to improve the safety of your house or apartment? How will you tell a friend or colleague if something is unsafe at his home or office? Think about and discuss these points with your classmates or partners. Pause the video and take as much time as you need. Speaking practice. Role play with your partner. Number one, have a conversation with your partner. Give him or her some specific suggestions on how to make his or her kitchen or house a safer place. For example, I think you should. 
That's a good idea. Pause the video to practice this speaking activity. Role play two. Pretend you are a building inspector for the building or room you are in right now. Look around and offer your suggestions on how to make the room or building safer for the people who use it. For example, it would be a good idea to... Thanks for your suggestion. Pause the video for this speaking activity. How safe is your house or office? Describe to your partner why you might feel unsafe in a particular place, room, house, building, etc. Think of how that place might be affected by a natural disaster such as an earthquake, flood, or tornado. Pause the video to discuss this. Feel free to discuss the topic keeping rooms and buildings safe with your friends or classmates. Remember to use some of the vocabulary and phrases that you learned from the video. Pause the video and take as much time as you need. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button below if you like this video. And please submit your ideas for more videos like this. Check out our websites for more information.